Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. We're just a couple of kooky, crazy kids in love that love playing some South Park. Yes, we do. So uh, we're checking out South Park, The Stick of Truth. These are all the cutscenes that we're doing. Um, so we played the full game and our full gameplay is going to come out next week. Yeah. And uh, we wanted to do things a little bit differently and we've done cutscenes reactions before, but this is when we actually played the game. Yeah. So we get to see that. Um, yeah. So if there's anything missing, like a lot of side quests and whatnot, you'll see that uh, next week when we release our full gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ready to do this? I am ready. <laughs> I mean, they're pissed off. Can I use special abilities? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> a pooner. <laughs> Amazing. Yep. Deep in the lands of Zara, the humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. <laughs> thousand years the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the <laughs> Drow Elf armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war soon change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elf can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. Hmm. Wow. It's a powerful stick. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Great setup. <laughs> Welcome to South Park. Mm -hmm. Friendly faces everywhere. Humble folks without temptation. <laughs> well, I think that's everything. We did it, hun. We're really moved in. <laughs> it's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. The Mohawk shouldn't attract any attention. Definitely not. Sweetie, hon, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? <laughs> I know it's a big change for all of us, but son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good. That's good. He doesn't remember. Uh, <laughs> sweetie? We want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right, get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. <laughs> We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you too. <laughs> you sure <laughs> dad and I Warhammer, Drow Elf. Uh-uh, uh, banish thee to the forest realm. No way. You first. <laughs> you can't hold out much longer. Help! Somebody! I can't hold out much longer. Help! Hey, no fair. That's cheating. I'm gonna tell my mom. <laughs> Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. But <laughs> my name is Butters the Merciful. I'm the I live right next door to you. We should be friends. Now that we're friends, you should speak with the Wizard King. He's been talking about your arrival. The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. The Grand Wizard! <laughs> so, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by Coldwell Banker. <laughs> the Wizard King. The time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Wow. Mm -hmm. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. <laughs> and here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't That's ask right. Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. <laughs> 
You have been sought out, Nimbit, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. Oh, what you, what's your name be? Oh, no. Oh. This is everything. Um. There's Toodles, the Lost Boy from Hook. Okay. That's an option. Um. Lumpy from Scrooged. I like Lumpy. Okay. You entered douchebag. Is that <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you want to keep the name douchebag? <laughs> Very well, douchebag. You will now choose a class: fighter, mage, thief, or Jew. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Of course. <laughs> fighter. Like okay, yeah. Fighter has courage, honor, and the ability to kick fucking ass. <laughs> nice. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. <laughs> you look sneaky enough to be a thief. <laughs> you, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh man. So wrong. A mage is like a fighter has courage, honor, and the ability to kick fucking ass. I mean, it sounds like they want you to pick fighter. It does. A mage is like a wizard. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. And the fighter gives us like the Cobra Kai headband, which is kind of fun. Fighter? Yeah. We welcome to our kingdom, Douchebag the Fighter. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. Ah, you have procured a weapon. Yes. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clad. What? <laughs> kick Clad's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the king, Clad, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! You were all like, beam, and Clad was all like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, you prove yourself worthy, oh, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The Stick of Truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the Stick of Truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week, $4 <laughs> of which is tax deductible. <laughs> alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive positions! Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come <laughs> get it! Clyde, guard the Stick of Truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clyde! <laughs> This is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! Drow elves, fall back! Fall back, I- Yes! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elves! Better luck next time! Na 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 na! We still control the universe! <laughs> it's gone. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job! <laughs> to guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah, go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, if you can make me a douchebag, like you sure can't fight! Shut up, Scott, nobody cares what you think. <laughs> Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The Stick of Truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king! Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. Nice! I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware, the lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Sixth graders. Well now go, and send my warriors here! Welcome to Tweak Coffee. Coffee made with ingredients supplied by local organic suppliers. It's local coffee, brewed locally. Tweak! <laughs> Twig! <laughs> Have you picked up the fresh local ingredients? <laughs> Not yet, Dad. I'm still trying to do all my chores. Well, hurry up, son. The family business is relying on you. 
Hello there. If you're looking for Tweak, he's in the back room, unattended. Unattended. <laughs> like a pristine meadow known only to the wild horses that graze there. Would you like to try some coffee? It's fresh, like a sun-dappled cornfield ready for harvest. What's this? Huh? Now? The guys need me now? Don't leave me. I have way too much to do. How am I supposed to do I can help you out. Wait, you. Could you go get the four o'clock delivery for me? If you do, I can finish here and then, and then I'll still have time to play. Please, would you? It's at Kenny's house, like always. Y you give them this, they'll give you the delivery. Yeah, yeah, we got the package. Meth head. Sweet coffee, you got the envelope. Uh, these <laughs> witch doctors must be cooking up a secret potion. Wonder if it's a healing potion. <laughs> Hey, that's not the usual kid that picks up the package, huh? Oh shit, it's a kip! <laughs> oh crap. You did it! You got the pickup! Oh, thanks, man. Dad, I finished my work, can I go play? Where's today's delivery? Right here! <laughs> yep, that's good shit. <laughs> All right, Tweak, you can play for a little bit. But be sure before dark or you'll be grounded. Grounded. Like the fresh grinds of our all-organic Tweak blend. Made with ingredients from local tweakers. Thank <laughs> you. I gotta go get changed and then I'll meet you at the kingdom. Wow. Fast travel. Yay. Ooh, it's called Dark Matters. This, this is Token's house, I think. This is a gated community, sir. We do not allow in the riffraff. Move along, sir. <laughs> I warn you, sir. Oh! If you try again, I will pepper spray you back to the Stone Age. Oh my god. Gate crasher. I best remember Crap was just posted to your wall. Dude, someone just posted a video of you getting pepper sprayed. Hold on, I gotta watch that again. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so we recruited Tweak. Uh, so I think that's a good place to stop. Uh, what do you think so far? I love it. It's hilarious and ridiculous. And obviously, you know what to expect to an extent mm -hmm. with it being South Park, but this even surpassed expectations. All right, welcome to Shitty Walk. Take all the prayers. Only thing we're serving today is a Mongolian beef. Mongolian beef, so good. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> oh, Mongolian. <laughs> Shh, Mongolians are watching. They conquered me last week at Natural. Oh, my God. oh yeah, oh, Mongolian beef. Mm, so tasty, right? Wow. <laughs> it's not tasty at all. It gross. <laughs> Don't eat it. You eat a Mongolian beef, you shit your pants for five days. Oh my God. All right, Mongolian. Please, you gotta help me out. The Mongolians all live like rats in the tower of a piece next door. I'll keep the adults occupied here. You go top a tower and beat up all their kids. Oh! Beat up all the Mongolian kids. The Mongolian think this neighborhood not a safe place. They move away. Go, go, beat up the little Mongolian kids. <laughs> oh, I'm a Mongolian. Mongolian beef smell like a Lionel Richie's asshole. <laughs> Lionel Richie's asshole. Oh my god. Oh, we got the yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. There you go, kid. All this shitty chicken you can carry. <laughs> you do good. Nice. Work. I'll help you fuck up Mongolians anytime you want. <laughs> Not bosses though. They too tough. You call me with this. I give you one per day. Hey, Mr. Kim. Howdy there. Haven't seen you before. You must be the new kid that moved to town, and you're into hunting, huh? Well, my boy, you've come to the right place. South Park is chock full of things to shoot that would delight any taxidermist, survivalist, or weekend animal death enthusiast. Weekend it animal death enthusiast? A minor, thanks to the stupid Democrats. But, but if you could prove yourself a real hunter, I might be able to get you some better stuff. You should buy a copy of The Hunter's Guide to South Park Wildlife. Th this book thing you hear. <laughs> uh, we need to buy a gas mask. Uh, okay, level two gas mask. Sir, I'm a. What the fuck? Oh no! Oh, I gotta fight him too. Along. I really feel sad for him. Yeah, feel sad for him too. He's got owned. Yeah. Hi, you wanna be my friend? Get the Billy Club of. Okay. Good job, Yeah. Can I help?
help you? What's this? Oh, the elves took the stick again? Hang on a second. Let's give me just up. Nice. Message, traveler. I shall make haste to Koopa Keep. Mom, can you drive me to Eric's house? He looks awesome. Well, soldiers reporting for duty, Grand Wizard. Nice work, douchebag. Now <laughs> all my men are here and ready to fight for the. Wait a minute. Where's Feldspar? Where's my level 12 thief? Uh, hey, yeah. Well, where's Craig? Remember, he's, he's in detention. Out. What? He flipped off the principal, so he's in detention again. Oh, my God. If they've locked away our thief in detention, we have no hope of getting back the stick of truth. We have to break him out. Ah, no way, man. Last time we broke Craig out of detention, we all got in trouble. Getting into trouble is a risk that douchebag is willing to take. <laughs> you have to break out our thief, douchebag. <laughs> but don't worry, I will not let you go unprepared. I'm going to teach you how to use magic. Nice. Meet me at the training barracks. It's time for you to learn Dragon Shaft. Dragon Shaft? Mm-hmm. Sweet. You fight well, douchebag. But to truly succeed in combat, you must learn to harness the power of your fight. <laughs> of oh, course. Geez. Farting on an opponent at precisely the right time is key to battle. I shall show you how it's done. But first, you must take the gentleman's oath. You must promise to never, ever fart on anyone's boss. Okay? <laughs> Farting on an opponent is necessary, but farting on someone's boss is not cool. Do you understand? All right, then let's begin your training. To conjure dragon shouts, you must first clear your mind and take in a deep breath through your butthole. <laughs> like so. <laughs> then let it rumble inside you and... Let it rumble inside you. Oh my god. I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout! Now you. You ready? <laughs> dragon shout! Find the frequency. Hold the frequency. <laughs> oh crap! Whoa! Don't leave the air trapped inside. That shit's dangerous. <laughs> People die like that. Oh my god, that was incredible. A man could live a hundred years and never again witness a spell so boisterous. <laughs> could it be that the prophecies are true? Could it be that the dragonborn has come at last in our hour of need? Now let us try your skill on a real opponent. Hey, hey, Princess Kenny. Hey, oh no, not Kenny. Shh, don't tell him. Okay, just real quick, Princess Kenny. Sir Douchebag wants to show you something. Oh. All right, you two. Spar! Sir Douchebag, show Princess Kenny the magical powers I have taught you. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking hilarious! Oh, poor Kenny. <laughs> oh, okay, good job, sir, douchebag. That was sweet. Thanks, Princess Kenny. That's all for now. Go, go, asshole. Call those assholes. Okay, but, dude, seriously, remember, don't ever do that on someone's boss, okay? Seriously. You have mastered dragon shafts. From now on, it will be easier for you. Craig? Craig, this is detention. Okay, stop looking at your watch because you're here for three hours, buddy. Okay? Whatever. Now, don't <laughs> think your friends are going to come bust you out this time, Craig. My name is Feldspar, and I'm a level six thief, and the humans will soon rescue me from this tower. No, your name is fucking Craig Tucker, and you're in <laughs> detention. Now, start doing your homework. Okay, I've got all the doors sealed, and I've got hallway monitors working overtime. We have to be a hallway monitor. going to save your ass today, Craig, okay? <laughs> Kenny's bow. Press X each time you see a heart. Aww. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. I love the happy dance. Here they come. <laughs> You're gonna get you, Craig. You're not getting out of detention. I'll be out of here in ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Message from Cartman. Rats mentioned that the school has gingers on all monitor duty. <laughs> if you get bit, you're already dead, so don't come back here and infect the rest of us. Oh. Floor officers down. We're taking heavy casualties out here. 
Damn it, you hallway monitors need to stop playing around. He's got the brass key. He's some kind of dragonborn. Now look, <laughs> this is dragonborn. Time. Not time to play Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, Elder Scrolls. And besides, he's never going to get inside here because to open the door, you need the gold key. And the only way to get the gold key is by getting the silver key. Okay, which even if he has the brass key, he still hasn't made it past the boss level. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your word is a command, my lord. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Thanks. I thought I was a goner. There were too many of them. They were too strong. Their hair, too red. You can take the silver key and find the gold key. You can succeed where I have failed. Free Mackie's prisoners. That's far enough, intruder. Holy monitor, boss. Where's your hall pass? <laughs> no hall pass? Then it's time to write you a referral. Oh shit. Oh yeah, Damn. that's the boss. Good luck fighting the boss, okay? You still think this is a game, young man? Alright, you're just gonna die from this one going bow. I wasn't worthy of the sash. <laughs> I wasn't worthy of the sash. <laughs> boss, done. Well done, but thanks. You're free! Damn you, Craig! <laughs> Gentlemen, thanks to the new kid, our entire army is assembled. It is my belief that the new kid deserves to rank up in level. To our yeah. efforts, he will no longer be called douchebag. New kid, I hereby dub thee Sir Douchebag. Congratulations. <laughs> thanks. Sir Douchebag! <laughs> Amazing. Oh, the graphic was worth it. And now it is time for us to take back that which is rightfully ours. A carrier raven has come with news that the stick of truth has not yet been taken to the elven forest. It is in the possession of the bard. <gasps> the bard. The bard. Oh, oh god, not the bard! The bard is a level 10 drow elf who can use magic to enchant and destroy his enemies. <clears throat> Are you ready to continue your training? Then make haste to the training grounds. I'm going to teach you how to use a ranged magic attack. It's not easy, but being able to cover spell from a distance can save you in battle. Allow me to demonstrate. Yeah! Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. Yeah! <laughs> you see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cut the magic, throw it at your opponent. <laughs> yes, yes! But now let us see how you fare against a real opponent. Hey! Hey, Malkinson! Malkinson, could you come help us with something? Shh, don't touch it. It's gonna be sweet. Yes? Oh, uh, hey, Scott, could you um, spar with Douchebag real this quick? He's gonna try to new move. I'm guys! Now, Douchebag, come and spell! <laughs> Alright, Sky, go back to your post. Thank you. <laughs> Use it wisely in battle, douchebag. And never on a man's boss. <laughs> if oh, the carrier ravens are correct, the bard is hiding out at the inn of the giggling donkey. We must find him before he's able <laughs> to take the stick back to the elven forest. Let us find the bard and bring him to justice! Make haste to the giggling donkey! <laughs> there it is. The inn of the giggling donkey. Paladin, are you sure the bard is hiding out in there? That's what Twitter says. Carrier Raven, butters. Oh, sorry, sorry, that's what the Carrier Raven says. Craig and Token, guard the back door. <coughs> butters, Kenny, Sir Douchebag, let's go inside. <laughs> no, nice. The end of the giggling donkey harbors the scum of Alzaron. A glass of meadle wine. This is please. awesome. No meadle wine today, only fairy ale. A pint of fairy ale, then. So, has uh, anyone seen the bard lately? Vitamins. Vitamins, Soda. A cup of fairy ale isn't much if not accompanied by some bardic poems and songs. Hmm. Sure, he's here, all right. He's got a room down in the cellar. Ah, and I shall pay handsomely <coughs> for his services. Sir Deucebank? 
butters, douchebag, go down and flush him out. Princess Kitty and I will be waiting here to murder him. Remember, the bard can use songs to enchant. Don't let him get to you. Crap. Am I ready for this? For the bard? <gasps> Jimmy! Oh, Jesus, it's the bard! <laughs> Prepare for battle, weaklings. Elves, fall in! Oh shit. It's a trap! You should have never come here, humans. I am a level 10 bard, and with my loot, I shall power up my elven guards with magical songs of enchantment. With magical songs of enchantment. With magical songs of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. With magical songs of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. We'll just keep going on. I don't skip it. Probably. Magical songs of enchantment. With magical songs of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. With magical magical songs of enchantment. Feel like a dick. There once was a maiden from Stoneberry Hollow. Uh oh. She didn't talk much, but boy, did she swallow. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, we haven't used that yet. Mm -hmm. Stop dicking around. We're still doing this, right? Mm, should I use the summons? Maybe we haven't tried it yet. Why not? It's true. Let's go, asshole. Let's go this last Elven Archer. Say, Princess Kenny. Princess Kenny, how badly did they rape you? <laughs> I can't get through. The door appears to be enchanted, so I can't turn the knob. You can't hold the doorknob, Bard. That's cheating. Yeah, I can. I have the stick of truth, which means I control the universe, and I say holding the doorknob is okay. <laughs> uh, can he do that? He has a stick of truth. He can do what he wants. Damn it! There's got to be another way into this room. You're not getting up here. The ladder's up here with me, and I'm sure as shit not coming down there. Oh, okay. So I need Princess Kenny. Look at the boobs. <laughs> Looky what we got here. I'm coming for you, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are some big old bitties. <laughs> some big old bitties. Oh. Good job, Thanks, Princess Kenny. Gone Wild. Double D buddy powers. Princess Gone Wild. You've nowhere to run, Bard. Give me the stick of truth. Take it from me if you can, Wizard King. Step forward now and fulfill your de And fulfill your de Let's get ready to skip it again. Now and fulfill your de Step forward now and fulfill your de you did it. 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 You You did it. You did it. You did You did it. 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 You did it.
You did. Step forward now and fulfill your destiny. You are no match for a grand wizard. The stick belongs with us, and I shall use every bardic power in my class to keep it from you. Fine. You want to throw down, bro? Kick his ass, douchebag. Who is douchebag? <coughs> Sir douchebag to you, and he's about to teach you some manners, bard. Oh shit. You've been terrific. Bye, Happy Mm hmm. The stick is ours! Yay! Crush of weakness? Oh, God. Find his running shoes. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, carpet! Oh. Great job, men. Douchebag, for your heroic deeds and valiant self-sacrifice at the great battle of the Giggling Donkey, I hereby make you an official member of the Kingdom of Koopa Keep. Yay! The KKK. <laughs> it's getting late. The Grand Wizard needs to go night night. <laughs> oh God. Hey, Mom. Thanks for pointing out bedtime for everyone. <laughs> it's a school night, hon. You and your little druid friends need to. We're not druids, Mom. <laughs> We're fucking warriors and wizards. <laughs> That's it. You're going to bed. The rest of you better get home, too. Well, there he is. You make any new friends, sweetheart? Nothing to say, huh? What a surprise. It's late, sweetie. Go on up to bed, and I'll be there to say goodnight. <laughs> it's being a dick, Dad. Good night, little man. I hope you're as happy as we are. Everything is going to be better now that we're in this quiet little mountain town. Sure. UFO? your first time getting probed? <laughs> Randy. Yeah, it's a pain, but this is the kind of stuff you put up with living in a remote little mountain town. At least oh you God. don't have to deal with traffic. <laughs> hey, oh you broke God. free! Kid, you have an incredible control of your asshole. Get me loose, too! Ah, uh, hello. Is this recording? If you are hearing this, I've been taken hostage on some kind of alien ship. The aliens did unspeakable things to my rectal cavity. <laughs> but I've broken free. I'm so scared and alone. I must find a way off this ship. Oh God, they're coming. Why am I standing here making an audio lecture? <laughs> I don't have time for this. Leave me alone. Great, you're there. See if you can free me from that console. Probably not though. It's incredibly advanced alien technology. No way some kid could work it. Day two. So hungry. I'm searching for food, but the only thing I've found are other people's annoying useless audio logs. <laughs> Why did they bother when they clearly were in terrible danger? Each audio log I find is more irrelevant and boring than the last. I must keep looking for a way to survive. <laughs> oh god. Oh, you're gonna what are no! you Oh my god, wait, what's oh! happening? Oh god. <laughs> Did you- Oh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Jesus! Oh no! <laughs> oh, you are fucking kidding me. There's no way! There's no way! I have no idea what I just saw! <laughs> That is the best. It's it's triangle, 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 and then like all of them. <laughs> May I get it right to do this, I get it wrong to do this. I guess I don't have much to lose. Give it all you got. Really got.
<laughs> you are kidding, right? Like, what? Triangle circle. X X. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That was great. Doesn't work either. Head back towards the elevator. Day four. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find anything to eat or a clue to get me off the ship. Just more audio logs. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I listened to every minute of every one of them, thinking there'd be some useful information. But it's, it's like they're just filler. Just filler. Useless filler. <laughs> they're filler that's driving me to madness. <laughs> Okay, I didn't want you to have to do this, but there's one more console you can try in that room across the bridge. The alien who works there is really tough, so be careful and remember to use electricity. Oh my god, this is gonna be on all miners. Hey, that did it! The force field's down! Come on back and we can get out of here! Day seven. Okay, I did find one audio log. <laughs> left an audio log about some paper she had left in an alien cabinet, and she told me the code was 776. That was kind of cool, because I didn't know the code before that. <laughs> in the cabinet, there was only some kind of power-up I didn't really need. Success! I found something that looks to be food. It's some sort of green fluorescent goo. I'm, I'm gonna have to try and eat some. It's, it's not so bad. It's tangy and nutty. Would probably go well with a... Hey, what, what's happening to me? What's it? I eat some at this table! What's going on? Great, you made it! Okay, use this panel here and we can all go home! Oh no. <laughs> that was me crazy. Okay. No! Oh, okay. That's my bad. Sorry. Oh, you did it! That was two triangles at first. Thanks, kid, I don't know who you are or if you're real, but consider me your friend. Yay! Until we meet again. Boom! Boom! Good job, bud. Yeah. Thanks. That's unfortunate. Mm hmm. Not photo dojo. Uh oh. Yes. <laughs> Big bad well government guy. <laughs> How many people in the town? Get in there and cover it up. This could change everything. Get everyone moving. We've got another UFO crash. and several fires in the South Park area last night woke many residents from their sleep. Here with the report is a midget <laughs> in a bikini. Tom, oh government God. workers here are assuring everyone nothing out of the ordinary has happened. They claim that the only reason huge tents have gone up to cover this area is to mask the construction of a new Taco Bell <laughs> open sometime later this month. Thanks, Midget. I do love me some Taco Bell. The mayor of South Park states that last night's tremors and fires are under control and that hopefully schools and businesses can open again soon. It's horrible. You don't understand. The elves, they took the stick. Again? That's bullshit, because that is totally cheating. We specifically said no trying to take the stick at night. Elves are dirty little liars, and we have to lay waste to their entire base. You have some incredible ability to make friends quickly, Sir Douchebag. I'm sending you on a quest to go out into the lands of Zaron and recruit a whole nother faction to Koopa Keep. Ooh. Find the goth kids and give them this letter. <gasps> Get them to join our team and we kids. shall lay waste to the drow elves once and for all. Fucking cheaters. <laughs> Oh, 
Who's that? I think it's that new kid people are talking about. Beat it, new kid. This area is strictly for goth kids. What's this? Join the kingdom of Koopa Keep to battle the wicked elves. All recruits welcome. Sorry, Frodo. We don't play Dungeons and Douchebags. Yeah, beat it, new kid. Oh, come on. Let's do it. We never do anything. Aww. We can't do what this kid asks us to do. He's a conformist. Look at his clothes and his hair. Yeah, tell you what, new kid. Get the right clothes and some cigarettes and coffee and then talk to us again. Yeah, if you want to prove you aren't a conformist, then you need to look exactly like we do. <laughs> then maybe we'll consider hanging out with you. Welcome to my coffee shop. Thanks for helping Tweak out in the back room. Would you like to try some coffee? It's fresh, like a sun-dappled cornfield ready for harvest. <laughs> Raise attack once you attack again. Damn. Um... Speak Bros Dark Roast, rich coffee blend to fill the sucking void in your soul caused by all the douchey hipsters in the world. Yep, that's the best. That's the one. Uh oh. Hey, there he is. New kid. New kid. The Elf King has requested your presence. You can either come quietly or you can fight. But I warn you, fighting this fight at this point in the game is a complete waste of time, and you might as well skip it and just come with us. So, to you, beautiful. I mean, I feel like this is what I should do. But I like a good fight. Then go with the fight. There is no way you can win, and fighting us will be a complete waste of time. <laughs> Are you sure you want to fight? <sighs> okay, let's get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Happy dance. <laughs> we tried to warn you it was useless, but you just had to go and try and fight. <laughs> Okay, then. <laughs> I've won, though. This is bullshit. They said it's gonna be useless. It's true. Ooh, they have a tree house. I would still be on Team Elf. Hmm. <laughs> so, you're the new kid everyone is talking about. <laughs> What's your name? He doesn't talk, Elf King. He thinks he's hot shit or something. for the wrong side, dude. What did wizard fat ass tell you? <coughs> that we broke the rules and took the stick last night? He's lying. Cartman is the one you should be fighting against. He's hiding the stick, which is cheating, and acting all betrayed and sad to get you to recruit more people for him. We tracked a Twitter raven who says you are currently trying to recruit the goths for the wizard. Go recruit them, but bring them to us. Ooh. Then we can ransack Cartman's stupid kingdom and get the stick back once and for all. I'm trusting you to do what's right. And kid, if you betray us, we'll tell everyone you're a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Level seven. Ranger to help guide you. The bar Jimmy. is at your disposal now. And Stan. Oh joy, it's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons of Dumbass. <laughs> you gotta admit, he looks better. Yeah, he's almost a goth. Almost? Being goth isn't just how you dress, it's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. By doing our yeah. rules. There's a big PTA meeting happening right now <coughs> at the community center. <coughs> you need to walk right into the middle of that <coughs> meeting and take this sign to their table. Thank you. Yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, <laughs> eat it, and don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. <laughs> it isn't right, I tell you. Out of nowhere, this huge Taco Bell is being built, and now our children are missing precious school time. What? Parents, we've been assured by the builders that they're working to fix whatever problems they've encountered, and school should be able to resume soon. Resume soon? Who do they think they are? They think we're going to see a, a Taco Bell as being more important than our kids' educations? What if it's not really a Taco Bell we're dealing with? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's aliens? Thanks for coming, new kid. Everyone, <laughs> this is the kid whose family just moved to town. We've become very close friends. His name is... What's your name? That's what it was. It's been a while since we've well, played anyway, this. Anyway, this child and I witnessed something last night, and I'd like you to hear his story. Go ahead, kid. The government covering up, saying there's a big Taco Bell coming. That's right. Yep. Tell them, you know, about all the... Go ahead, tell them, tell them that stuff. <laughs> This is a waste of everyone's time. If the PTA isn't going to do something about Taco Bell taking over, then the rest of us parents will. Come, Come on, on yeah. let's go! Come on! Look, I know. 
know how you're feeling, okay? But this isn't gonna solve anything. We've got to get inside that Taco Bell and find out what's really going on. Help me with that and I'll help you with this. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your farts. <laughs> Meet me in the bathroom. It's time for you to learn some real power. Um, what? I need an adult. <laughs> I can tell you have potential, but you are undisciplined. Let me show you what I mean. Come at me. Grab the fart. Try and fart on me. Come on. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Key, yeah. You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again. Okay, there we go. Hi, cha. See that? Okay. Your fart's over there somewhere. Didn't come close. <laughs> so, what do you do when people can block your farts? <laughs> you must learn to control your farts to move and release at a specific time and place. I'm going to teach you a fart called the sneaky squeaker. <laughs> it will become your greatest ally. Don't believe me? <laughs> Try and block my attack. Oh my god! <laughs> you see that? I distracted you. Distracting your opponents is key to battle. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. The viscosity. <laughs> Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Hold our... Okay. And the viscosity. There you go. That's right, you can see. Oh. Yeah! You did it, bud! Did you you farted! it. So You're the like sneaky squeaker. <laughs> Sounded like a chipmunk. Oh! Very, very good. <laughs> Now use what I taught you to sneak inside that Taco Bell. Find out what they're up to and report back here. And no matter what happens, never fart on anyone's balls. You got that? <laughs> All right. Now go. The Taco Bell. <laughs> Sweet. They're trying to pull that Folks, off. There's nothing Taco to Bell. be concerned with here. Absolutely <laughs> nothing out of the ordinary is going on. That's right, your hazmat suit on. ready for the grand opening of a new Taco Bell. <laughs> new Taco Bell opening soon. Very big Taco Bell. It's going to open in a few weeks. Thank you. Uh, will this Taco Bell be serving in Chiritos? What? <laughs> well, is it going to be a full menu Taco Bell or is this going to be one of those Taco Bell KFC combos? We got a guy out here asking a lot of questions. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> Just stick to the script as laid out in the protocol. But he wants to know if the Taco Bell will have enchiladas or not, sir. Damn it, we don't have a contingency for that. <laughs> Michaels, isolate and neutralize the threat. Yes, sir. Look, it's a simple question. If this is going to be a huge Taco Bell, will it serve enchiladas? I think we have a right to know. <laughs> Knew that was coming. Mark? Folks, we're all very excited, but Mark, for your safety, Mark, we have to okay? stay clear of the construction site. Mark? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you gotta go talk to her. Oh, and she's still there. Oh, and there's a whole, there's an exit wound. Why yes, is there, there is. an exit wound? But, but so far, we've been unable to stop the UFO from leaking the toxic waste. We've contained all we can, but there are no guarantees an outbreak will not occur. And does the alien liquid appear to have the same effect as last time? I'm afraid so. When the alien waste reacts with organic material on Earth, it turns things into Nazi zombies. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Here we go again. Here we go again. God damn it. I'm so tired of Nazi zombies. It's so overused. Ah, I love it. Gets their hands on that green toxin, <laughs> it can totally spread it. We have a big problem. All right, we're gonna have to completely obliterate everything in a three block radius. Oh shit. Find locations for the bombs and bury it all. Then make up a fake story about an earthquake. We can contain the outbreak this time if we act quickly enough. Let's move. Everything we've just talked about has been recorded onto this tape. I'm going to leave it alone here for a few minutes, then come back later and have it encrypted and locked away so nobody ever hears what was said in this meeting. Yes, good idea. Love it. What the fuck? It's
It's broken free. Nazi zombie. Oh, oh shit! No! Oh! What's this? It's a recording. There's data on here. Did they say anything? What kind of Taco Bell is it going to be? <laughs> when are they going to be finished building it? Shh! shh. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to completely obliterate everything in a three-block radius. What? Set charges underground to blow up the area and bury it all. Then make a fake story about an earthquake. They're going to just blow up three blocks? Sons of bitches. You sons of bitches! What gives them the right? I knew there was more to this. It's not a simple Taco Bell we're dealing with. It's the most massive Taco Bell <laughs> ever built. You see, ever since the Nothing past Brandy. Locos Tacos thing, Taco Bell <laughs> thinks they can do whatever they want. Well, not here. Not in our town. You've done well, new kid. We're not going to let Taco Bell win. I'll take that picture you wanted now of you with the PTA. Oh no, I don't have my my thing on. Nice. I'll send it to you. Whoa, he did it. Nice. Yeah, but he's still not goth. <laughs> He'll have to pass the final test. You may look goth, Frodo. But can you dance goth? Dance <laughs> goth, yes. Less enthusiasm. Less enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> I should do the coffee hand. What do you think? He's pretty goth. He's pretty goth, right? <laughs> He's pretty good. I felt his pain. <laughs> I felt right, You've officially proven yourself. Yeah, just tell us where you need us and we'll be there. Okay, so what'd you think? Very much enjoyed it. But we have a very tough decision. Yeah. Um, we talked about how we wanted to be loyal and we wanted to stay with Cartman, right? That was original. Well, I mean, like, I'm torn. I like Kyle better as a character in South Park. So, yeah. like, for that reason, I want to go to him. And I think in the world of fantasy, I would be more in line with the elves. I like the elves. But I have a really hard time with treachery. Yeah. And to go over to Kyle's side would require being a traitor to Cartman. It's true. Who does call us douchebag and doesn't know our name? <laughs> Also true. But who got us into the game? And Princess Kinney and Butters, the two people who we like the most, are on his side. True. I like Jimmy. I mean, he's great. You know, uh, Stan's, Stan's good too. Um, nothing against to fight them. With. Yeah, something, it's, it's, something against them. It's just that, you know, I mean, look at these. It makes us giggle every single time. It does. And then he does a happy dance. Who are you thinking? I think Cartman. You think Cartman? I think because, yeah, they got, they got Kenny, they got Butters. I think we gotta stick, we gotta be loyal. Oh, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's, that's, that's what we're gonna do. He's the one that sent us to the goth kids. Like, yeah, I mean, we don't know who's lying. It's it could true. be Kyle, it could be Cartman. It's more, most likely probably Cartman. I was gonna say, now that I have a really good faith in Cartman's honesty. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you have returned. Come, sir douchebag. It is time to summon our forces. Simply call them here and your dedication to Koopa Keep will be complete. No, oh, chicken call. <laughs> Everyone gather around. While the rest of you have been picking your respective arses, Sir Douchebag has gone out and brought help to our kingdom. Hell yeah. Douchebag, it is time to finally give you a title worthy of your deeds. By the power of Mandaloth, third born of the Red God, and by the glory of Christ, I hereby anoint thee Commander Douchebag. <laughs> with all the rights and privileges accompanied therein. Yes, yes. I love it. Oh, we get a crown. Yep. What? Really? <laughs> you intercepted their messages on Twitter. You mean you shot down their message, Raven? Uh, right, we, we shot down their message. The evil elf king is, is hidden a stick inside his desk at school. Of course. Kyle hid it in his desk. Citizens of Koopa Keep, we know where the elves are hiding the stick. I told you they were cheating. Now we shall march on the skew and make the hallways drip with elven blood. Yeah! <laughs> Defenders of freedom, I thank you for your courage and your audacities in joining our fight. Tonight, <laughs> we are no longer the humans or the goths. Tonight, we unite as one. 
I feel like such a homo sapien right now. Humans <laughs> are here! Ooh, they blew their horn! Blow ours, butters! Last <laughs> leg left! Goth kids prepare to attack from behind! They've barricaded the entrance! The elves are up to their old Jew tricks again! Find another way in! Take out the barricade from behind! Yeah, this is quick. <laughs> Stay back, you guys! Something is seriously wrong with the hallway monitors! Help! Ginger Kids? Please! That's Gary Nelson! Don't touch him, he's Ginger! He <laughs> came to school the morning after the earthquake to report for duty. We didn't know school had been cancelled. We heard a sound from down here. Found this cream goo. It, it was everywhere. It changed Damn. some other hallway monitors. <coughs> Serves you right for being a patsy ass hallway monitor in the first place. Something German Nazis. Away from the desk, Jew King. The stick doesn't belong with a fat, racist liar. All right, Ooh. Cal, you fucking asked for it. <laughs> Go ahead and kick his ass, douchebag. New kid, Carmen is using you. Can't you see it? He's a manipulator. You're just jealous because the new kid picked me as a friend over you, Cal. You've got one last chance, new kid. Turn around and fight Carmen instead. Do the right thing. Don't let him Jew wash your brain, new kid. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Make him shut up. It's not me you should be fighting, it's him. So pick a side. Kick his ass, douchebag. I can't believe this is even a choice. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kyle. Yeah. For what I'm about to do. Oh, fine. You're gonna be sorry, new kid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think we definitely made the wrong choice, but I don't care. Don't you know who you're dealing with? Ooh, we don't have Kenny. Oh, are we taking a break now? Kicked in the nuts. That was mean to stop, damn it. Yeah. You wanna use your uh our potion to move the bleed, yeah. school just have tabletops. <laughs> no, but but Twitter said that look over here. This desk has writing on it. Check my locker. Whose desk is that? That's that's Clyde's desk. Hmm. Clyde, you bastard. Greetings, humans at Drow Elves of Zarod. Clyde, he took the 
stick. While you've all been busy fighting amongst yourselves, I have built a kingdom beyond your comprehension. <laughs> I prayed for a way to destroy you all, and the solution came crashing down from the heavens. No. Oh, no, it's more of that green stuff. With what I have found, I shall raise an army of the dead. What are you doing to that poor cat? Yeah. No. Speaks German. Oh, God. I shall raise an entire army of darkness and kill the Earth. Clyde, but why? I banished him to be lost in space and time, and now he's all pissed off. <laughs> so you see, fools, I control the stick and the future of the Earth. Clyde, do you want a sandwich? <laughs> Not now, Dad. I'm making a Ruler of Darkness video. Whoever controls the stick controls the universe. And my first deed is that I hereby denounce the human and the elf kingdoms and strip both kings of all their power. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> Oh, hello, boys. Can we speak to Clyde, please? Oh, well, Clyde's out playing in the backyard with his little friends. Damn, that's pretty Whoa. impressive. Go back, get it, losers. <laughs> you can't do that, Clyde. You're lost in time and space. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are, asshole. Army of Darkness, defend the fortress. Oh, oh God! Wait, Fred, you're on my mm -hmm. side. You don't have authority anymore. The keeper of the stick said so. This can't be happening. God damn it! I have fucking authority. <laughs> Warriors and wizards, I'd love to invite you into my fortress of darkness, but I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? What do you mean we're too late? There you are, butters. Do you know what time it is, mister? It is way <laughs> past your bedtime. Oh, shit, it's past our bedtime? Dude, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Clyde, it's past your bedtime. <laughs> okay, coming, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Commander Douchebag has decided to bless us with his presence. Let's get started. Humans and elves of Zaron, a great evil has descended upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team. And he is... <laughs> you have something to say, wizard? D uh, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. <laughs> you guys, this is serious. Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Yeah. Fuck. That. <laughs> we do not team up with fucking elves. You got a better idea, wizard fat ass? After what you elves did us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell a butter that that was Jimmy's fault and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize <laughs> for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces, my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Oh, whoa, butters. Stuck my elven dick butters. <laughs> Whether we are human or elfins are gonna matter one bit if all of Zaron is taken over by German zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We God, better sense. figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have I'm enough warriors. Mm -hmm. So we recruit more factions to join us. The Pirates, the Federation, and oh, nice. the Girls. Oh. The Girls? Kyle, the Girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince Girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. Mm. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. <laughs> he is really good at getting Facebook friends. I'll give him that. <laughs> Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war. Huzzah! Nice. The 412th meeting of the girls is here <laughs> by Blue. Sparkle, sparkle. Sunshine! Sunshine, sparkle. <laughs> Millie Larson has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on an urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yeah, yeah right, 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 right away. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle. Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Oh, wow. yeah. What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. <laughs> the boys are playing some Baby. new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. <laughs> what? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he could help. 
Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, <laughs> glitter. our motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about like, Allie is Monica grade? Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. <laughs> so we're going to send Monica a Facebook page with your picture. Then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood. And you want to meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be. Oh and my God. And if Monica tries to hit on you at all. Because that way, we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! We're gonna do this highly, highly manipulative thing to see if someone else is highly manipulative. Perfect. I just can't get over Sparkle, You'll Sunshine, find and Glitter. Yeah. Park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. Oh, hi. You must be Mike. So, you wanna talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced, if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! Uh -huh. We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! <laughs> what the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! <laughs> what do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you being on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced skank. Guys, wait, please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Oh, great. Can I play this guy Nothing now? To say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand this. New kid, we want to thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch. She really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. <laughs> you see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. <gasps> Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me <laughs> and tries to stab me in the back. Right, so we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced oh, bitch who spreading oh, wow. rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! <laughs> Sweet. Yes. Oh, amazing. Oh, okay. How do, what, do I look like as a girl? Not that one. That's kind of fun. Okay. Go girl. <laughs> Go girl. Any of these uh, dance out to you? Um, I think like the turquoise with the polka dots. This one? Yeah. Definitely the blue eyeshadow. Okay. Hotness streak. Hotness streak. Which ones? Are? I was looking for turquoise, but they don't they don't have any. No what color? Um. The black is kind of boring, but. Too cute. Are you sure you want to wear that? Ah, oh, bitch. I know, right? What are the other? No, uh -uh, no, sorry. I just grew up a little, and not on purpose. Uh -uh, no, sorry. Uh -uh, no, sorry. Okay, go back to the outfit. Uh, let's see the purple one. This is gonna be a project. You keep losing. That deserves a selfie. Okay. Now the dark red heels. Alright. Are you sure you wanna wear that? Yes. Yeah. You're as ready as you'll ever be, I guess. Let's get to the clinic. Oh, bitches. Seriously. Alright, new kid. Get inside the abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is. I'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this. If any of us are spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Jessie. Hi, Hi. Hey, hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. 
awesome. Skank. <laughs> All right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. Hi, I'm Dr. Poon Lover. Get on up in the chair and just don't take my <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, little young to be having an abortion, aren't we? It's okay. We have a booster seat. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, mm -hmm. just sit back and relax. We'll get that fuck trash taken right out. <laughs> Here we go. Fuck trash. <laughs> oh my god. This is so wrong. What the? Wow, never seen that before. You burned out the vacuum. I'm going to have to get this thing fixed. Be back in a minute. Access granted. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> Oh, Brandy. It. Oh, it's you. What are you doing? Thank God. Something strange is going on here. The PTA reviewed that tape you got us. The Taco Bell has something called a Plan B. They've been here looking through these records, but why would they be interested in the gynecological files of the women of South Park? I'm afraid now you know too much. Oh, shit. We have two more asking a lot of questions. Deal with them quietly. Got to fight these agents. Can't let anyone find out what we were doing there. With Randy? Before you kill us, tell us why. Why is Taco Bell taking the <laughs> records of women's vaginas in South Park? I'm picking up some hot readings on the ESRB. Tell us, what do women's vaginas and Doritos Locos Tacos have in common? <laughs> ESRB is going crazy. Oh, shit. There's an outbreak here. We have contamination in Sector 7. All units to Sector 7 now. Secure the entire building. Put that woman in restraints. <laughs> What's going on at Dr. Taco Poon Bell Lover. Security? Your clinic is infected with a Nazi zombie virus. Nazi zombies? That's ridiculous. And bigoted. I happen to be German. He's one of them! Oh! Oh my god! Tell people what you saw. <laughs> Let's go. Quarantine the place. Shh. Randy. Nobody move! Oh, uh, what's going on? I, I'm just here for an operation. <laughs> oh, there you are, doctor. I'm ready when you are. Is this going to hurt, Dr. Teehee? <laughs> Tee something fishy going on here. I think they might be Nazi zombies. We'll see if you're a real doctor. Give her an abortion. Do it! Ooh, oh my god. Goodness. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Alan Center press X. A year. Every critter holds it dear. Every big or Ow, small. my balls! My, my, my favorite it shopping malls are closed at five, Doctor. Can we please get this <laughs> over with quickly? Uh, so, oh, to dilate for X to begin. Oh, that's cold. That's cold. <laughs> when we hear about this is about as wide as I can get, Doctor. <laughs> is that blood? <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. I might actually throw up. <laughs> Christmas means so much to us all. It's one Oh, that's year. cold. That's cold. Christmas this is about as wide as I can cape, Doctor. Okay, okay, do it. I'm ready. Hold all the vacuum. When we hear about how Christmas only comes. Oh boy. Once a year. Get it off. Get it off. <laughs> Get it off! Oh. Oh. I told you that thing isn't a doctor. Fry it! Once a year, it's once a year at Christmas time. When we think oh God, it's about snagged. how Christmas only comes once a year. Oh God, it's snagged. Oh God, it's snagged. He did it. All right, so he is a real doctor. Well done, Bert. Well, I took what 50 million times. Oh shit, clear the building! The area's been compromised! Get out now! Uh, you go ahead. Might be a while before I can walk very well. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh no. 
Mathers, where did you find the alien goo? Broken vials were in the trash can, sir. What could have come into contact with it in the trash can of an abortion? <gasps> no. Oh my God. Never been so excited to see you, Butters. Look at that little fella. <laughs> <laughs> They're everywhere. What are they? Man, those little babies are pissed off. They're killing us. Gee, it's a holocaust out there. Oh, Butters. <laughs> babies are eating my brains. <laughs> No, no, I don't want to skip. Oh, oh god. Oh. <gasps> well, okay. Bullet for you, Commander Douchebag. I guess that wouldn't stop all the other bullets, though, huh? <laughs> that's it, that's it. The area is secure. Code green. It's not secure. Tell all He's you still alive. the has been contained. It's not contained. What the hell are you talking about? It's not contained. You, you don't understand. Chloe Kardashian was in here this morning. <laughs> she had the biggest abortion I've ever seen. Oh God. Oh Jesus. <gasps> oh my God. Good luck, baby. Okay. Uh, are you gonna rape us? <laughs> it sparkles. New kid, the girls are very thankful for you texting us the abortion records. We are one step away from finding out which girl among us is a two-faced bitch. Unfortunately, <laughs> the record keeper at the abortion clinic is from Paris, and so everything is written in French. Whoever this two-faced skank is thinks she can outsmart us. We want to help you and the boys play your game, but we just can't have a two-faced bitch out there on the loose. <laughs> just get these documents translated for us, and we promise we will join your army. Sparkle! Sunshine. Sparkle. What's this? Council, gather round. This must be something the new kid needs our help with. Sank femmes ont sabi un envertement. What language is that? It's some kind of strange orcish. Orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Oh, the kingdom to the north. Whatever's written on these documents is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our army. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, spit it out. <laughs> Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. To breach the kingdom to the north, you'll have to assume another identity. <laughs> Your name is no longer That's Commander weird. Douchebag. It is now Larry Bobinski from Cleveland. <laughs> the quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the Lost Forest. Head north, then north again, north, and then north. <laughs> you better get a real passport photo first or you won't make it past border control. Hi, here to get your passport photo taken? Just head into the room there and we'll get started. Step between the lights, please. That's great. Okay, smile. Mm -hmm. oh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just not working. Let's try that other outfit. Okay. Other outfit. Uh no, tell you what, how about just no shirt at all? Let's try that. Oh god. Nope, with this light, we're just going to need you to lose that shirt. <laughs> oh my god, this is so disturbing. Yep. Yeah, that's going to work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. <laughs> Could you roll up your pants? Or You know what, just take take the pants off. No! <laughs> those pants just aren't working for you. <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay, that's good. Really nice. Yes, very nice. How about we lose the underwear? No. <laughs> you sick son of a bitch! Stop him! You'll never there we go. Alright, keep Thank this guy's God. ass. Thank God. We stand oh, together you. against the darkness! Pedophile, kill him.
What does this club do? Summons force. This is a windstorm. Oh, no, I was talking about uh, another thing in other minions. All right. Oh. Get him. Press the button, shout Ready? Oh, fuck What's a duck. Far, far, far. <laughs> nice, you got him. Tell my wife I wasn't that into her. <laughs> wow, oh, good job, kid. So You're quite the fighter. All right, let's get this over with. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. Yes, the Canadians. Stop, eh? Ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! <laughs> oh, I'll do it. Hold on. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> nice. Amazing. Oh, awesome. It's like Zelda. Oh my god. Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the south? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the great border. <laughs> you must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. <laughs> I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. Oh. Can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Winnipeg. I know. The princess creeped twice when she met you. That is a great honor. <laughs> oh my God. The prince said that you would read Ah, uh, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what, kill off all the dire bears in the north of town, and I'll help you however I can. By Jove, you've done it! Look at all these dire bear pelts. Now I can finally make a dire robe. Oh, right, dude! Mm, yes, this is actually written in the language of Eastern <laughs> Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it, but I'm afraid the prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec. I will speak with the prince. Return to him, and he should let you speak with the minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most dire robe in all of Canada. <laughs> Oh boy. Mm -hmm. I know. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. Yes, I'd please. like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. What? Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Just slap him. Yep. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? <gasps> Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the bishop. Oh, kill damn. The bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. <laughs> for me and bring me his balls as proof. Do this, oh. and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste. I'm definitely going to help. What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? No, dude. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, you don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, right. take hmm. these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're oh. Bless you, my son. It'll be our secret. Wow, good thing I saved these. anyway, so we have extra. Is he dead? Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's bars. Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But oh, Malik, dick. We made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. <laughs> Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. Ooh. <laughs> a letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. 
Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of the town. Only they could train you in such soul. Oh, okay, that's why we couldn't break the floor. All right. We need to have sorcery. Mm -hmm. The sneaky squeaker! Very impressive. <laughs> he is worthy of our training after all. Yes! Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. <laughs> This pass out, okay. Your magic is impressive, young American. <laughs> Not since Eric von Thunder Panther, Nova Scotia, have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. <laughs> Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki. Oh! Watch again. Nice. Now you try. Believe in yourself. Okay. Nice. Good job, beautiful. That's it. Now let us see how Nagasaki works in battle. Ooh. These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you <laughs> unless you try to do one more. There you go. Go with the system. That's it. You have the power. Good job. Thanks, bud. You did it. Now go out and use your anus for the good of mankind. More popular than never, Jesus. Never fart on a man's balls. <laughs> never fart on a man's balls. Je suis libre. Je suis libre. Oh. Nevo bossoin de collection stradut. Okay. See, right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freak Fucking Heidi Turner. Two-faced butt rag. Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass. <laughs> but Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her. <laughs> I love you guys so much. <laughs> we love you too, Heidi. <laughs> you certainly work well, new kid. So you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Sparkle. Sunshine. <laughs> Everyone listen up! The girls have agreed to fight by our side! Huh? The pirates and the Federation factions are standing by to fight as well, my lord! Then the time for talk is over! Let us all make haste to Clyde's house! Yeah! Fuck Clyde! Whoa. Mm hmm I mean, he does have the best house. <laughs> Not it's house, a, yeah, house. Fort, like, yeah. yeah. That fort is epic. It is. Today, we are not elves and humans. Today, we fight as one. What we do here now will be written and sung about on YouTube for days to come. <laughs> Let us besiege the army of darkness with the courage of dragons. Yeah. Delve their dungeon with swords and sorcery. Let us charge our shields and use photon <laughs> torpedoes to vaporize the Klingons. Kevin, God damn it. <laughs> Every fucking time, Kevin. God fucking damn it, seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Let him have his photon yeah. missiles. Let me <laughs> that army. <laughs> Dad, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, it's my favorite kid. <laughs> Listen, I found out what they were doing at the women's clinic. They were looking for a candidate to put a snook into. They're gonna nuke all of South Park. A snook? You boys don't understand. They've put the snook here. Who did? Whoever these people are claiming to be Taco Bell. <laughs> we should have known. We should have known Taco Bell is far too compassionate and caring. <laughs> the quality of their character, like the quality of their food, should have never come into question. Dad, where is the woman with the snook? They didn't put it in a woman. <laughs> <gasps> oh no! There were these big government guys, and they wrestled me to the floor at my house. And then I remember thinking, well, this is fun, <laughs> but wait, 
Is that a thermonuclear device? <laughs> I had some drinks, so putting a thermonuclear device up my ass wasn't completely out of the question. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. How long do I have? We don't know, Mr. Slave, but it could be a matter of minutes. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. No, we can't just pull it out. Snooks have triggers on them. We have to abort it from inside. Oh, come on. Who knows how to do abortions and can get really, really small? <laughs> Hmm, who? Who could possibly be able to make themselves tiny and know something about abortions? Oh, hmm, let's see. Who could there be? Hmm. Oh, who could there be? Let me think. It seems like it'd be easy to find someone who could get small or could perform abortions, but both? Oh, look! He's all small! Oh! oh. Wow, this kid is just full of surprises! Quick! Get up there and disarm the snook! Hurry! Oh, be careful. I might have also put some bats up there the other night. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Ah, sick, dude. Can't you pick somebody else to be your butt? I never thought I'd say this, but are you sure you don't want to take Cartman instead? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to take Kenny? Oh, poor Kenny. <laughs> Hello. Carver would be funny, too. Dude, lame. How come I have to be your buddy right now? The frog? No cat. You must find a way out of this place or you will surely die. <laughs> the way behind you is blocked by the large sphincter. Make haste to the large intestine. All will be made clear to you then. A great adventure <laughs> is waiting for you ahead. Journey on the way new kid, or you will soon be dead. The road ahead is full of danger and fright, but push on the new gross. kid with all of your might. New oh, kid, condom! Oh! New kid, new kid, new Kind of cat. Oh, anal beads. Oh god. Everything is so gross. I am the sparrow prince. <laughs> Like you, I was once used for pleasure as an anal plaything, and thus perished in this place. Now you must defeat my angry spirit in order to move forward. I know, I don't really sound that angry, but trust me, I am. <laughs> you you have proven yourself in combat, young anal plaything. <coughs> you may journey forth. Find the snook's trigger and save the outside world. Fare thee, Matt, and fare thee well. Like Carmen's mom's. Whoa! Oh, dude, There's too much shit here. Nice, Aki. Dude, you okay? Ugh. How many poor balls does he have? Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Just so gross. But they're shrunken down too. <sighs> I didn't join the company for this. We've got our orders. Yeah, but how come we always get the shit jobs? <clears throat> go clean out the barracks. Go round up civilians in their homes. Go up a gay man's butt home. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sucks. I'm God. What are they doing here? Whoever seeks to blow up the city clearly doesn't want anyone stopping them. You must get past them, new kid. Go fuck them up. <laughs> <sighs> kid came to the stomach dark <laughs> Neath the cold depths of the London heart Hello, new kid. I am Katata Fish. Katata Fish of the stomach's core. The trigger of the thermonuclear device lies before you. 
I have tried to solve its riddle, but I have been unable to disarm it. Katata fish riddle will soon be told. <laughs> there are only moments to spare. Find a way to disengage the trigger, or all will be lost. See that handicap sign? You need a bar. Ah, uh, okay. Yo, wh where is the command? This calls for a little bardic access. Snook abortion sequence initiated. The okay, oh no, not this. Infusion. Is once a year. Every critter holds it dear. That's nice. And you push down. Okay. Dangerous. Shit. Critical arterial rupture. So much to us all. It's one of the beautiful things. Mm -hmm. It's Christmas time. Oh, this shit can be cold. So cold. Danger. Abortion access slip. Abortion access slip dilated. Initiate control chip removal. Wrong chip. Wrong chip. Ow. Not that. I needed that. <laughs> Wrong chip. Self destruction sequence aborted. <sighs> Well done, bud, on the first try. Thanks. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Slick? What are you feeling? <laughs> Jesus! Jesus Christ! Oh! Great job, new kid. But your journey is not yet complete. Yes, but should we ever need your services again, we will come. <laughs> Great job! You've disarmed the snook! South Park is saved! Yes. Now let's finish this, new kid. Let's beat Clad once and for all and take back the stick of truth! Yama can't be Or in this case, Gal. Mm-hmm. Fools! You thought you could conquer the Fortress of Darkness! Fine! Back away from that stuff! Oh, but I have yet to complete my army! You have come to witness the power of darkness! Stop! Clyde, no. You have no idea what that stuff is. Yeah, it's green sauce from Taco Bell. I took it from their construction site. <laughs> Dude, that's not Taco Bell sauce. Then why'd I find it at the Taco Bell? It leaked out of a UFO, Clyde. It's toxic goo from another galaxy. Think about it. Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? <laughs> Actually, since about a year ago. Right? <laughs> Taco Bell has green sauce now. No way. They've had it longer than a year. I've always gotten spicy green burritos. Yeah, no, I'm saying in the packets. They just started putting green sauce in packets. <laughs> the fuck? How the fuck did I miss this? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> I don't seem so foolish now, do I? That doesn't mean you have Taco Bell green sauce, dip fuck. <laughs> dip <laughs> fuck. It's glowing. Maybe because of the three varieties of chili peppers. <laughs> just give us a stick, asshole. Or what? You'll feed me up? Haha! <laughs> I've got another surprise for you. No! Who's in the coffin? Oh, no. <gasps> Chef! I'm gonna make love to you, woman! Ah! Get him, Commander Douchebag! Oh no! Okay, I kicked the baby! Don't kick the goddamn baby! Yay! Yeah! Oh! Jump one hit, one, one away! One. Enough of this! <gasps> Oh shit. Your eons of torment are at an end, ruler of darkness. Bob, uh, okay, um, Good job, you don't have to play You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that I banish thee. I banish thee from space and Oh! You did it, dude! That was awesome! You did it! Your noble quest is at an end. And for all your deeds, and all your time put into this, I hereby promote you to King Douchebag! Congratulations! <laughs> Just give us the thing! Yeah! Sweet. <laughs> King Douchebag. Quickly! Now let's get this stick back to safety before anyone can do- We've got him! We've got the Dragonborn! Dragonborn? What the- 
King Douchebag. King Douchebag? Is that what you told him your name was? Why didn't you tell them your real name, Dovakin? <laughs> <laughs> this is off Mellor Scrolls. You don't remember, do you? How we tried to find you? Look, that stick belongs with the Fighters of Zaron. Give it back. Fighters of Zaron? Boys, what's going on here is much more complex than that. This isn't the first time a UFO has crashed to Earth. You see, in 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, God. Oh, brother, spare us. <laughs> Hang on a sec. A UFO crashed in Roswell, and a new government agency was created to investigate the paranormal. Our agency. Can we skip this? The man in like, black. Hit the skip button or something? <laughs> oh, we skip this. Yes, we do. Whenever aliens are spotted, vampires run amok, our agency is there, and we have never lost a fight. That is... Until four years ago, when we investigated a child. Yawn, yawn, yawn. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. His farts? No! His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. <laughs> Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends on Facebook alone. Do you have any idea the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come with us, Dovahkiin. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? Are we so different, you and I, Dovahkiin? Uh. You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. We're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? Whoever controls the stick controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, stupid. Controls the... But then I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. I could... <laughs> <laughs> I control the universe! Get back! Back, I say, all of you! I can do anything! Anything I want! <laughs> I no longer need you, you kid! <laughs> oh my I god! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Damn thing! How does it work? Show me how it works! Yeah, right! Dovahkiin. Why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. I can offer you all. Just get me safely out of here. You can rule with this once again. You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. Yeah. And you failed to recognize the character of our alliance. Yes, and that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> Princess King! At least one of you has some sense. You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kinney? Because Princess Kinney was born a half-orc. <laughs> whose entire village was wiped Morgan out Freeman. by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see... When humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child. A beautiful little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. And that is why she waited and plotted all this time to take the stick from you. For Princess Guinea is true heir to the Stick of Truth. Wow, that's pretty cute. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? <laughs> because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Kitty, come back here! It's all over, Princess Kitty. Douchebag is too powerful for you. <gasps> no. What's she doing? No, Kenny, don't drink that! Kenny, don't do it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is it, 
Get King Douchebag! The final battle! Your buddies stand with you! I would just stand over here. <laughs> Use your rainbow attack, Princess Kitty! Nice try, asshole! She doesn't stay dead! We can't beat her! Till we're fucked! There's no way! <laughs> there is one way! We're gonna have to break the gentleman's code! <laughs> Burn on his balls? Carmen, you can't possibly need What other choice do we have, Cal? King Douchebag! You remember long ago, I made you swear an oath to never fart on anyone's boss. Fart, that's, you. you've mastered <laughs> fart magic. He's right, it's our only chance. Fart on Princess Kitty's boss, King Douchebag. Do it! Oh, God. Now, King Douchebag, fart on Princess Kitty's boss! What about the gentleman's oath? You need a power fools, potion. Princess Kitty controls the universe. I believe in you, King Douchebag. Don't be blinded by her. Princess Kenny truly is the fairest maiden in all the land. Well done, babe. Ferdinand has balls. I broke the oath. What? We're back to normal. That's right, son. The dragonborn must have farted on a princess's ball. <laughs> <laughs> Stick savior, yay! There's no other way. It drove our friend to madness and nearly killed us all. <laughs> well done. So what do you guys want to play now? How about dinosaur hunters? Or pharaohs and mummies? Let's ask Douchebag. What do you want to play next, dude? Screw you guys. I'm going home. Ha! Wow, what a dick. <gasps> Is that man bear pig? I think so. All right, so what'd you think? We did it. We did it, yeah. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Lots of laughs in this game. Um, and just, as true with South Park, laughing and just shock humor. And, uh, but like all, it's still like within like, you know, it's telling a great story. Yeah, I I love South Park for that because it does such a great job of like holding the mirror up to us in society, showing our ridiculousness, mm -hmm. showing um like like pushing all of the boundaries and not just pushing them, like vastly overstepping them sometimes. Yeah. But in a in a way that is it's going to say sound weird to say, it, but in a way that's constructive because mm -hmm. it, it does make us think about our own isms and like what makes us uncomfortable and like all of those things so they do a great job the humor is wonderful um and and they they push all of these things and they make all the social commentary but they do it all with humor in a way that just makes it all palatable and not obnoxious yeah um gameplay was fun uh there wasn't really too many like frustrating parts so for the most part it was pretty easy um, which is good for us because that's what that's what we like. It's, yeah, it's, good for it's us. a perfect game. It's a you know fun, engaging story and easy gameplay. Um, yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. What are you? What were some of your favorite parts? Or what was your favorite? Do you have like a favorite part? Favorite stretch? I mean, I think my favorite moments mm -hmm. were Kenny charming people oh, in battle, yeah. and then like doing the happy dance when we win. Um, 
I loved I loved recruiting the girls and the sparkle <laughs> sunshine. Yes. Like that was just that was that was so much fun. I think one of my like most uncomfortable scenes and yet still funny and and and, and like perfectly encompassing South Park in in a way is the alien spaceship. Yeah. The probing mission. I was going to say I I think the alien probing mission was my favorite just because like your face when the the Simon Says thing went off and like you're like, what the hell is this going on? I couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, that I was I was laughing very hard in that one. Um the ending was fun. Uh like learning all you know, using all the different tools that we had learned throughout the throughout yeah. the game. Um, and fighting with everybody. Yeah. And Canada. Canada was Canada. A oh my god. Big highlight for for switching that up like that. That was great. Yes. Definitely. My favorite character to, uh, that was our buddy was Kenny. Yeah. Yeah. Kenny. And then I like Butters, but I think Kyle was probably my next favorite to like play with as far as like, you know, I thought he was pretty powerful. Yeah. I think my top three were Jimmy, Butters, and Kenny, but that's all for more the humor that they brought to the table yeah. and like the character than it was their actual fighting ability. Yeah. True. Agreed. You liked Cartman's Law of Swearing. I did. As far as like the actual fighting and the, and the gameplay, Cartman. Man, button mashing that was... Yeah, that's my jam. My other favorite part was Mr. Hanky stuff. Oh my god! Because yeah. just your reaction to what she was saying. Oh my god! <laughs> was was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, that was that was a mission. Mm -hmm. That was that was, a mission. that was for sure a mission. What I loved about this is that every time we played, it always made me think, "Oh, we need to go back and watch watch some more South Park." Yeah. Um, we just hadn't like it kind of had fallen out of our routine and our show rotation mm -hmm. there for a bit. So, I love how much fun this was and how much it made me crave watching that show again. So we definitely want to play Baldur's Gate 3, but also like uh, Fractured But Whole. Um, Is that another South Park that's game? That's the sequel. To oh, this. yes, please. I was yes. going to ask if there was a sequel. Yeah, so we're going to we're, we're gonna play that one yes. as, as well. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for checking out our gameplay for South Park Stick of Truth, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>